Get her. Bill, if you don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be nice about this. All right. First, first off, n most streamers, it lists, especially streamers like me who have an attitude and an ego, do not like being told what to do. We do what we do. That's it. Now, here's some information you might not be aware of. On Twitch, you can watch past broadcasts. So if you're not able to watch something when it's live, you can go back like a time traveler and watch it as if you were watching it there live in a future time. I know, crazy. And here's another thing. I do what's called upload to YouTube. And this run that we do today will be uploaded to YouTube. So you can watch it on two different websites in the future if you miss the run today. Crazy, I know. Crazy. I'll prove it to you, though. I'm basically a fourth dimensional time traveling demon. That's what I am. Man Eater Maddie with a brand new subscription. Big Val with the seven month resub. Thank you guys so much. Why am I always attracted to the bad boys? <laughs> My mind is boggled. How's he, how is he uploading his videos and allowing me to watch his live videos at a different time? That don't make none sense. How's I'm gonna do that? All right. Would you guys stop subbing already? Denjok with the 36 month resubscription, the three years. The three years, you legend. Thank you so much, dude. I, we, I mean, we're using the cane. We we got we gotta just we gotta just look fancy, right? Yeah, now we're looking good. Okay, we don't need the tiny tinnitus. Oh, I need more beast blood pellets. What is this? What are we doing? Bolt paper, beast blood pellets, blue elixirs, old hunter's mark. Let's use, you know what we're going to use? I'm thinking the old hunter's bone. I'm thinking it. It's been thought. It's been thunked. Is Mitch being a condescending ass again? <laughs> if you don't know, my mod is a condescending ass. He's a bot. It's actually an artificial intelligence program. All right. I designed him this way. It puts up, cool? it puts up, shut up doll. It puts up a strong buffer between me and idiots. Okay. All you got to do is just. Do what he says, okay? Ignore the condescending assness. It is what it is. Just follow the rules and everything will be okay. He was born this way. Born, programmed, yeah. Mitch gets no love. Why would he get love? He gets paid in invisible gum sticks. The Duke of Limbs with the two-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Duke. Fresh. 
fruity stripes of gum sticks. I don't need to pick anything up. I already have four. Did you purposely make him condescending or was it an accident? Well, okay, so if you don't know about my stream, a while ago, I used to be a very nice, positive person. But then people started taking advantage of me. And I didn't like how they were doing that. So then I foretold of a future situation where I would become a heel. There would be a heel turn. And that happened. And when the heel turn happened, I reprogrammed Mitch P 1983 to be a condescending ass to fit with the vibe of the stream. If you do something that Mitch calls you out for, like I said, just listen, apologize. Don't send him messages being angry. He's the only moderator in the channel. He's got a big ass sword. He will chop your head off. And don't be one of the people that sends me a message on Twitter complaining. You will, you will do nothing but anger me. Mitch is an extension of me. Don't be that guy. Oh, by the way, Mitch, remind me. Later on, if you want to see it, one of, the, one of your most recent beheading victims messaged me on Twitter. And it, it might be the most angry someone has ever been. Remind me later. Of course, we want to see it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, yes, please. Please share. It's mean. It's mean. Okay, like, I'm serious. I know I didn't program you to be a snowflake, so I think you can hand it, handle it. In a world where Twitch is banning us to call people simps, virgins, and and incels just just wait just wait till you see what this guy says share it you want me to share it all right hold on we'll take we'll take it we'll take a minute break and this is okay this is a pretty regular thing if you guys don't understand this about streamers this is a fairly regular thing once every week, two weeks. I'm not kidding, at least. Sometimes more often, sometimes not. This is a fairly regular thing what we got to deal with. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. Hey. I'm not sure if this is even your real account, or if you'll ever even see this, but I dropped by your stream for the first time earlier today. I'm not sure if it's still going on, but it was the one where you were buying a PC on stream. So I joined and I asked the chat what was going on. I don't remember his username. I didn't take any screenshots, but I know his username started with an M and a 19. I also later found out that he was a chat moderator. So far, we have established that this guy can't check to see if someone is live streaming. And he also can, un he can uh, check to see if someone is a moderator in real time. Because there's not a big fancy badge next to the moderator's name. So, we've already confirmed that he's a dumbass. Again, I don't have the messages, but I can give an accurate picture of what happened. He replied something sarcastic, insinuating what I said was stupid. Given the evidence as the preamble to this conversation, he probably was stupid. But I remember the last line ended with, maybe just take a good decisive guess. Twitch emoji. Or something like that. Kinda rude. <laughs> so I replied, I don't know, I wouldn't have asked if I knew. I just got here. So he replied something along the lines of, oh, don't worry. Your response tells me everything I need to know. Twitch emoji. Me. WTF are you on about? I just asked a question. What could you have learned from that? 
I don't even know what he's asking. Again, four counts of dumbassery. And we haven't even gotten to the good part. I'm not sure what he said next, but I know for a fact he did call me stupid and might have also cursed because I remember seeing a lot of asterisks. Me. Man, STFU. All I did was ask a question. This is my first time actually using Twitch and already someone is trying to piss me off. Please just either answer the question, which you didn't, or STFU and stop being arsehole. I got banned pretty quick after that. So I'm guessing he only read up to man STFU. Yeah, he, he didn't ban you because you called him arsehole. No. He, he, you're, you're, you're assuming that he didn't read past STFU because calling someone an arsehole is totally allowed. That, that, the, yeah. That, that, dumbassery number five. I made an unban request saying how he called dumb and get away with it. Yet I get banned just for defending myself. This is the screenshot that he took of him being banned. Never called you fracking stupid. I called you dumb and an idiot. <laughs> and I never cursed once. You just keep proving over and over with every message, including this one, where you can't even tell what happened right, that I am correct. That's enough dumb people in this stream already. We don't need any more. Have a good one. So now he's calling my entire chat dumb. Even if you don't want to read all this, at least, please look at that image. I think it proves that his reasoning is total BS. Does it? Does it now? As a moderator, shouldn't be stopping arguments instead of starting one? Okay, I just checked. <laughs> and you are still streaming. I'm sorry if I ended up distracting you. But he's going to continue distracting me, right? I don't want to be a nuisance, but this guy started an argument, did he? By mocking me for a single fracking question, then abused his power to ban me. Abused his power? I don't know. No. I'm going to go with dumbassery number nine on that one. I will it admit, I've got a lot of anger issues. Really? No. No. He, he's got anger issues. Who would have who thought? At least he knows, especially lately with my family and a lot of personal stuff. But this guy just really pissed me off for being dumb. And it within no right of his for asking question for him to call me dumb. I mean, the audacity of it. He knows nothing about me except I, the fact, I'm new in Twitch and don't know what the inside of a PC looks like. Mitch P. 1982 was his name. Oh, wait, Mitch, you're off the hook. This was Mitch P. 1982. Ah, this was a previous version. This wasn't Mitch P. 1983, my current moderator. This was the 1982. Ah, it's making sense. Bro, I think this guy is like in another another dimension right now. Total arsehole. He's the challenger guy who you said you might bet. <laughs> the challenger. <laughs> He's the challenger guy. <laughs> Man, it's fracking unbelievable how autistic you both are. I thought this was just about Mitch P 1982. Now I'm autistic? What? What do I have to do with this? You're such a fracking pathetic excuse for a human being. You literally had a fracking fit because someone told you to go grab an item or some childish stuff. Your job is literally to play a game you're not even good at. Oh yeah, and tell your little whiny Jew-ass friend to STFU and stop using bit emojis. It's not fracking cool. You ain't funny either, and you're fracking miles away from smart. 
You're honestly probably the thickest. <laughs> I'm not going to say that word. I've been, I'm an American. If I was Australian, I could say that word. I'm an American. Okay. I've, I've ever had the unfortunate of meeting. Can't even answer a simple question straight without pissing himself with his two inch tiny ass. <laughs> you sit on your fat ass all day like a sexual predator monitoring a fan base of fracking kids and then take out all your repressed anger from your shit show of a life when they remind you you're just nowhere near as smart as your fat head says you are. My only slither of sympathy I have towards you is the fact that it's clear you're like 37 or maybe 38 years old and adding the fact you're almost certainly morbidly obese as means you probably only have about 10 to 15 years left on your miserable life. Go get some real life friends before you die, fracking losers. So let's play the game, shall we? <sighs> Just another day in streaming, man. Just another day in streaming. <laughs> What even just happened? Just someone who's really mad at their life. Oh! <laughs> okay, we're fine now. Whip them! Yes! <sighs> Yo, the Duke of Limbs with the two month resubscription. Flunk Org with the brand new Twitch Prime. Sermon Black with the six month resubscription. Adam Chuck with the brand new subscription. Rossif with the brand new KO Ken times five. Gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to my solar plexus. Chaos of Lisa with the five month resubscription. The hidden superhero with the brand new KO Ken times five gifted subscription. Another sub cannon straight to my solar plexus. Myriadin with a hundred bits. Thank you guys so much. Damn, that was a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed that little story. <laughs> Tell me someone clipped that hate mail. Don't worry, I'm putting it on YouTube. <laughs> You're late, Raw Barnacle. Where the hell have you been? Where have you been? It was hilarious. You enjoyed it a lot. It was good fan fiction. <laughs> Great idea someone just had. Show that person's boss. Here's my ticket to that amazing story movie. I feel like that person doesn't have a boss. <laughs> Thanks for the hundred bits, Brecko. Give us any follow-ups. If, if he responds back, I'll let you know. I promise. Nothing yet. You should make a YouTube vid reading those tweets. See, the thing is, like, even even with YouTube, I've said this before. 
when I before I started doing YouTube, everyone was like, "Don't read YouTube comments, right?" It just it just a cesspool. But that's not been my experience, and it's the same with Twitter messages. Ninety nine percent of the people who who message me are awesome, and that's why I continue to read them. Uh, I do have to put up with some idiots along the way, but I don't take it to heart. I either respond back like a savage, make a joke out of it, or just get rid of it and don't think about it ever again. And that's what you guys got to do if you're dealing with, with people like that. Because maybe, maybe four years ago, five years ago, I, I took it a little bit more to heart when people were like that, but not anymore, man. You got to get a thick skin and just, just brush it right off. Scan disc with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks so much, Scan. Oh, he almost shot me. He almost shot me. Oh, I can't. I forgot. I can't use Beast Blood pellets and and the old Hunter's Bone. I always forget about that. Oh, I missed my whip. Oh wow. Sweet blood. The stagger lock. Holy oh, hell. It seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. Poke him in the booty. <laughs> the cane is a stagger beast. Yeah, it is it works really well against beasts. People like that are just jealous and all. It's so weird, man. Bre he said he was brand new to Twitch. Imagine that being your first... The first way you interact with people on a social media platform you're brand new to. Really? Like, that's how you're going to conduct yourself? Wasn't jealousy, it was psychosis. See, I don't think it was that far, man. It's just someone who's having a difficult time in life, and they, they haven't figured out how to divert and, and place their anger. I don't think it was actual, like an actual like mental illness or anything. That, that's not what that is. It's just they, they're <laughs> cyber psychosis. They, they just don't understand uh, the hormones that they're dealing with because they're young. That, that, that's, that's what I think. That, that's not an adult. That is a teenager who's, who, who has a lot of family issues right now. Like he said, I do believe that. And he just has a lot of hormones raging through his body and doesn't know how to deal with them. The, o the usual overdramatic hater, the rants give years to life. <laughs> That's max stamina. Dude, this character is max everything. Max everything. Ninety nine in all my stats. There we go. What runes do I have equipped? That's a good question. Oh, physical damage reduction. That's one of the lake runes, right? Oh, no worries, Ober. I, I've pretty much decided that... I don't know. First playthroughs are really tough on this stream, man. I, I, might, I might just... I might just start... Playing games offline, and if I like the game playing it the second time with you guys just because it just it's so hard to manage playing a new game and manage chat and be entertaining and then I just I just get pissed off when people spoil things for me and it's hard once I get pissed off it's just really hard for me to come back from that it really is hate the damn backseaters yep yeah, man it's unavoidable and I don't want to go, like, emote-only mode. I don't want to just not look at chat. Because 
The whole reason I like streaming is because I get to interact with you guys. Well, it's not all of chat, Drenier. So, like, 99% of you guys, even more, like, understand. It's, it's generally, like, the new people. Or people who, like, who follow me for a while and don't really watch all the time. And don't really understand that I, I, I don't like backseating. Because, you know, they watch other streamers and other streamers allow the backseating, so they think it's fine. Why can't people just shut up and let you play? I don't understand it either, man. All I know is I'm powerless to stop it. Or at least the ways that I could stop it don't interest me as well. <laughs> there are other streamers. They're not. They don't exist. You did really well with Mortal Shell backseating. Well, that's a little bit different because that's what the game just came out, right? So people can't really backseat me that too much. You know what I mean? She was confused. What is she doing? That was weird. Oh, I can't be in front of her. What am I doing? I'm, st I'm still in front of her. little 360. She didn't know what hit her. Oh, I was trying to do a jump attack there. I messed it up, though. Oh. Get to the booty. I missed the booty. Come on, use that bone. I'm zooming. I'm not zooming anymore. I need an antidote, baby. Come here, come here, come here. Get over here. I just want to whip you. Thanks for the 100 bits, Crafty. <clears throat> the reach on the cane's awesome? Yeah, you can hit people from far away with this thing. Mirian with the 100 bits. Thank you. Zeus has said that all weapons are viable. Yeah, I've beaten the game with every single weapon. You could do it. Some of the weapons are stronger than others, obviously. But for stuff like that, you, can, you just make sure you like level it up earlier than you would with the other ones. That's all. All weapons being viable is one of the great things about Bloodborne. Oh, it absolutely is. And the fact that most of the weapons are just so unique, too, so it gives you a completely different experience. That's one of the main reasons that, I, that Bloodborne is just the best, dude. Your first Bloodborne playthrough was with the Threaded Cane? Yeah, a lot of people chose the cane. The Ligarius wheel is the hardest to use. It is one of the hardest because 
It's it's a little it's a lot slower than a lot of the weapons, but if you scale it properly, you can still do work with it. And Toa with a brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Is the merch out already? No, not yet. There's a lot of really underwhelming weapons in Dark Souls. Yeah. And, like, Dark Souls 3 specifically has... It's got a lot of weapons, but let's be real, they're just skins. They're just weapon skins. They have these, the exact same moveset. And that, that's where Bloodborne really shines, man. It, do, it doesn't have weapon skins. The only thing that it has close to that is the Saw Cleaver, the Saw Spear, and the Beast Hunter Scythe. But even those have their own unique movesets. First time actually catching your stream? Watch a lot of your videos on YouTube, and I'm loving it so far. Being new to Twitch is no excuse. Some people just suck. Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. Welcome in. Like I said, I don't take it seriously. Stuff like that. I mean, I've, I've known my mod for, for years at this point, and I, I know he does a good job, and 99% of chat says he does a good job. If he's timing you out, all you gotta do is, is listen to what he's saying, and don't do that, and you'll be good, man. There's, a timeout's not, a lot of people take like a timeout as being a big deal. It's not. It's not. It's just, it, it's just deleting a message and setting a precedent so the chat doesn't degrade into nonsense. I didn't say I liked you, Jesus. You're a condescending ass, bro. Maybe if you were nicer. <laughs> 1982's the ass. <laughs> well, that's the Amelia fight. <laughs> if you could call it that. How many times on average does it take you to beat Lawrence or Orphan? One. <laughs> the only reason that I ever die to them is because I'm trying to do cool stuff. Does Zeus do still, still do speedruns? Every once in a while, man. I don't do- I don't take speedrunning seriously anymore, though. I want to do a BL4 run soon, again. I like doing BL4s. Those are fun. Mirian, thanks for the hundred bits. Still gotta get as much- as much madman's knowledge as possible. Was the update on that new PC? I'm just waiting for new graphics cards and processors to drop, man. I can't buy them. You're one of the most reasonable streamers on Twitch. I'm surprised anyone could get as angry as you as the Twitter guy is. Eh, I have my moments. I really enjoy how the threaded cane whip mode gets that extra serrated damage and beast. Yeah, it does. It's a great weapon. It really is a good weapon. How much is your new PC going to cost? Oh, uh, what was the total price? I don't remember. Let me look it up real quick. 
What was it? Twenty-two fifty. I just want to say booty, 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 booty. Twenty-two fifty. Thanks for the hundred bits and the booty. Yeah, that includes the the Ryzen. That includes the uh, the the graphics card as well. Now, with 30, I think it was a 3080. I don't think the 3090 is worth it for, for double the price. Someone said to me last night that you and I are like musicians. You're the lead singer and I'm the lead guitarist. We both are good as solo acts, but great as a duo. I like that. I like that. Where are you buying that from? Well, I was gonna buy from like Cyber Power or I Buy Power, but that's like twenty eight fifty. So I went to if I buy all the parts individually and build it myself, it's twenty two fifty. That's like that's six hundred bucks. So that that's a I can buy a really nice monitor, a fourteen forty p monitor for for with six hundred dollars. You know what I mean? I can stream myself building it. Yeah, like I I I bought from Cyberpower. This the PC that I'm using now because it wasn't any I wouldn't have saved any money building it myself. Maybe it was like $50 or something like that. So that wasn't worth it to me. But 600, that's a lot of money. I don't know about you guys, but $600 is a lot of money. What monitors do I prefer? I like the monitors that are matte. Not the glossy ones, the matte ones. You'd rather pay 600 and not have to build it? 600's a lot though. Like two, if it was like 200, 300, I'm totally with you. But 600? I don't know. I'm just gonna build it if I could save 600. Almost got burned. Okay, I'm not actually doing that much damage with this thing. To these guys. We're in it for the long haul. Hey, what are you doing? Be nice to me. I gotta build up some beast meter with this thing. Oh, it's out. Let's try it again. Oh, I'm dead. The transformation attack took too long. He just roasted me in one foul swoop. Muerte. Swooped. <laughs> That's why we got the shortcut here. I can't be I can't be loud and obnoxious right now. The girl stayed home from from school and she's teaching. 
My energy's gone. Between you and me, I hate when this happens. I hate it. Kittenoichi with a brand new gifted subscription. Thanks so much, Kittenoichi. Yeah, between you and me and a thousand people. <laughs> Your teacher, this year's a damn nightmare. K with the four month Twitch Prime. Thanks so much, K. What's for lunch today? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what's for lunch. That, uh, that attack is terrible. It takes way too long. How did that not get a hitbox? Get our buffs back on here. Roll. I don't want to get roasted again. That's not good. That's not good. I need to kill this guy. There we go. I was trying to do a jump attack there. I screwed it up, though. Ooh. So th this weapon has a lot of range, but it actually doesn't have a lot of tracking. The range is only good in front of it, but you see how they can sidestep that? Still got it done. You hate this fight? It's the only you summon for. Summoning? You're not allowed to summon in this channel, bro. Stop doing that. Beat him yourself. Really? What did I do? The blue elixir too early? Or too late, I mean? I guess. Oh, well. What's summoning? Exactly. Exactly. 
Rom is the most boring fight. I like Rom. I think Celestial Emissary is the, the, the worst fight in the game. I summon, I'm a casual, roast me. You did it yourself. That's fine. <laughs> The rune? I already have everything on this character, bro. I don't need any stupid runes anymore. This is the max new game, man. the booty blast they almost killed me right there they almost got me where's the princess Principesa. <coughs> Damn, she's vacuous. Hey, Idrisil. All those spiders giving you anxiety? It's so, like, th tons of people are just... Afraid of spiders. Is arachnophobia like the the most common phobia in the world? Big spiders are okay, but tiny ones are horrible? Why is that? You love spiders? Back in Arizona, there were a few times where a black widow spider, like, ne nested close to where I lived or close to where my girlfriend lived. I always, li I always like just looking at it. And that's a spider that could kill you, too. Newman said spiders are one, snakes two, heights three. Snakes, huh? Yeah, see, I, I don't know. I live in New Jersey, so, like, I've probably seen four snakes in my life. And those are just, like, tiny garden snakes. You lived in Arizona? Yeah, I went to Arizona State, man. Great school. You can learn anything you want there, dude. And it was also, like, really inexpensive relative to a lot of other places. You can learn anything you want.
You're from Cherry Hill, born and raised. On the playground was where you spent most of your days. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing and cooling and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. And when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in your neighborhood, you got in one little fight and your mom got scared. Said you moved with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air. You whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate was fresh and there was dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say the discount was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it. Your home's to Bel Air. Oh, wait, no, Cherry Hill. Damn it. Whip his booty. Salison Hawk with the nine month resubscription. Enjoy your brand new slug baby. Thank you so much. Make sure you slam it. Every single day. That's a lot of blood echoes, and the thing is, they're completely useless to me. Huntsman spiders are terrifying. I don't know if I've seen a huntsman spider before. Yeah, this is max level. On YouTube, I have a whole series that I'm doing, just playing the game at max level with every single weapon. So it's about time we do a threaded cane one. A lot of people have been asking me for it lately. When's the last time you tried a no hit run? Oh, the last no hit run that I did was the, the world's first Bloodborne no hit run. I just wanted to be the first person to do it. <laughs> no hit runs don't really interest me on a day to day basis. Lancer with the four month resubscription. They're huge spiders only. Oh, in Australia? Well, that makes sense why I haven't seen one. Or I don't know what it is. You almost killed me, man. King Roll with the two-month Twitch Prime. Thank you, King Roll. Yeah, I'll do an axe. I definitely won't be spinning to winning all the time. I'll do an axe run soon. Can you do a run where you don't enter the dream at all? Uh, yeah, I actually... I forgot I want to put one of those on YouTube. A No Hunter's Dream Run? Those are fun. We've done a few of those before. Spin to win is the only way I play? That's basic, bro. That is basic. Would love to see a Blade of Mercy. I think a Blade of... I think I've done a Blade of Mercy run. That should be on YouTube. Oh, my usual. Iced. Hera's going to get coffee. I didn't scream bad words in front of the high schoolers. Okay. I was talking about a really mean donkey. Listen, this is not a public school. This is a Twitch stream. 
they they'll have to deal with it. I love you, but I don't like you being home because I can't yell like a madman. Oh, get wrecked, Miko. Oh, I almost booty slapped him. Oh. When you stick a cane up someone's ass so hard they just die. <laughs> been there. <laughs> it's free. It lives. Shut the hell up, man. Nobody cares about you. I wonder if we'll get the plunge here. Only one way to find out. Got it. <gasps> That's fine. New ideas. Oh, what's in your pocket? You scratching your butt? You scratching your butt? <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Oh. Now I'm waking up. Oh, forget everything. His butt is in his pocket. You ever wear a, pa a pair of pants that has pockets on your rear, bro? Like you got those back pockets? They're pretty common. <laughs> Search his pockets. Hey, Orphan, how's it going? Now you feel dumb? No worries. I do, I do and say dumb stuff all the time. It happens to the best of us. <sighs> Did somebody ask you what your favorite boss in Soulsborne was and you just said Wolnir? I had to have read that wrong. That can be true. Oh, I'm not. I'm too late. 
Wolnir's pure trash, the worst boss ever. <laughs> no one likes Wolnir. He was telling me which boss he beat last night. Ah, okay. My mistake. My mistake. <coughs> God damn it. I got something caught in my throat again. Pinwheel is... Oh, Pinwheel is the, like the, one of the worst, man. Pinwheel and what about Mist Noble and Sekiro? Mist Noble sucks. Bed of Chaos is obviously atrocious. But honestly, I th I think I think Pinwheel and Miss Noble are wor I'd rather have Bed of Chaos than Pinwheel and Miss Noble. Yeah, I hate I hate things that are just like why, why I don't know why even give it a boss bar, man. It's just it's completely basic as hell. It barely even attacks you. I don't mind Dragon God, dude. I don't... Obviously, things about Dragon God that suck are like it's... Hitboxes because it's a PS3 game. But, um... I don't mind Dragon God. I mean, it's really not that hard. Once you understand what to do. Bed of Chaos is the only reason you refuse to play Dark Souls. <laughs> I don't play Dark Souls too much anymore, either, man. Gotta get my living string. Deacons, Celestial Emissary, Congregation. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Those are the bosses that I don't like either. Just, just 20 enemies. And you gotta kill them all. I don't know. I just don't like that. I like ROM. I like Living Failures. But Celestial Emissary? No. Deacons? Absolutely not. The hate mail clip was gold. <laughs> How many chunks do I have? Okay. We only need like 250 more. We're getting there. Ah, uh, no thank you. Your favorite boss was Crystal Sage? That is a lie and you know it. What happens at max chunk storage? I feel complete. Good evening from Sweden. I'd like to go to Sweden one day.
Oh, nice job. She actually hit me. Her blade hit me out of the air. That was cool. Make it a series. Zeus tours the world and streams Bloodborne from every content. I totally would do that. I was thinking... I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I was... Pre-COVID, I was t thinking about and in the process of getting an IRL backpack to do live streams and do other sorts of stuff in addition to gaming content. I'm so glad I didn't buy that thing because that would have been thousands of dollars wasted <laughs> for years because of COVID. Zeus flossing at Times Square? Wh wh why would I floss at Times Square? What do you mean? You think you're the only one from the Middle East? No, I definitely have other... I don't know if anybody else is here. Is anybody from the Middle East right now? I know I have other people from the Middle East who watch me, man. I don't know if they're here right now, though. There you go, mute is. You didn't see Ninja do that? Bro, I don't watch Ninja. Yo-Yo's from Bahrain. Two Balls is from the Middle East. There you go. We're international, dude. Oh, I didn't get the Upper Cathedral Ward key, did I? Nope. Your wife is Middle Eastern. Does that count? Half. We'll, we'll give you half a point. Does Zeus count as an Italian? Uh, my ancestry or my heritage is Italian. I'm an, I'm an American of Italian descent. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a full-blooded Italian, man. Half my family is is originally from uh Naples and the other half from Sicily. What's your favorite pasta dish? There's this um there used to be a place in the Moorestown Mall, but there's a, there's a place in, in Philadelphia. Is it called... Uh, what was it called? Vetri? Oh, no, is that maybe the Italian's... I, oh, I forget the guy's name. Hold on. It's Robiola Franciabola. Osteria. It's from Osteria. The, the chef's name is, uh, is Vetri, I believe. Yeah, Mark Vetri. Mark Vetri. Uh, it's, it's basically little postage stamp ravioli with, uh, Robiola cheese inside. 
with a with an egg butter thyme sauce and chanterelle mushrooms. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah, it's so good. You, if 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 you know where it is, if you're in Philly, I recommend it. And feel free to order like three plates of it because it's one of those places that doesn't give you enough food. You know what I mean? It's like way too expensive, but it's delicious. <laughs> Have you tried microwave spaghetti with ketchup? I am considering permanently banning you from my stream for such travesty. I'll accept the ban. <laughs> hey, pajama. Doing great. A little, a little chill, chill bloodborne day. I do not belong on spaghetti. That haunted ketchup, though, man. I don't know. That's pretty good stuff. Have you ever had your sauce without the pizza? Ever had your sauce without the pizza? What do you mean, your sauce? I'm, I'm confused by the question. Everyone's so hostile in this game? Yep, they are. It gives you stuff to do, though. What's the worst Bloodborne weapon? Worst is probably the Kaz Parasite. But it's also the most fun. <laughs> Or one of the most fun. My favorite fast food restaurant, Chick-fil-A. Although McDonald's fries are McDonald's fries, you know what I mean? A fuzzy llama with the subscription. The brand new KO Ken times 20 gifted subscription hitting me with an unrelenting sub cannon straight to the solar plexus, you legendary air. Bro! Happy holiday. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chick-fil-A's chicken is tasteless. The spicy chicken deluxe is tasteless? No, it's not. You can't have McDonald's fries. Is it because of that beef flavor? Is that why? Nerd with the 14-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thank you so much, nerd. You're not going to Chick-fil-A and ordering a, a sandwich that's that's not spicy, are you? They have beef fat. It's beef flavor. I don't think it's actually fat. I think it's like scientifically reproduced 
flavoring. But I could be wrong. But I understand that. Yeah, they use the f they use flavor now, right? They used to cook it in beef tallow. Chick-fil-A is terrible. You're terrible. Your taste buds are just ridiculously dumb. I feel bad for you because you were born with stupid taste buds. Right in the tuckus! You prefer Popeyes? Dude, Popeyes is so... Greasy. I don't know. Nah. nah. Chick-fil-A is definitely better quality than Pop Fry Pop Popeyes. Popeyes is legit fried chicken. No, it is not. Bro, if you've ever had real fried you've never had real fried chicken in your life. If you're calling if you're calling either Popeyes or K or KFC or Chick-fil-A real traditional fried chicken, bro, no, you're just wrong. If you prefer one or the other, that's fine. It's fast food. We all have our preferences. But that's like calling Olive Garden Italian, real Italian. Okay. Let, let's just let's just let's just put all of our ding dongs on the table. Jet Hawk with the three month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Jet Hawk. Popeyes is not better than Chick Fil A. You like it better. There's a difference. Los Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> Canes is good. I've never had Canes. That was interesting. <laughs> Wrecked by a noodle. Canes is good, but it's only chicken fingers. Oh, I'm not eating that then. What's the point? Josh T with the 500 bits. Bus tickets for the freeloaders. Thanks so much, man. Canes is a deal breaker. No spicy options. Ah. If it's not spicy, bro, get it out of there. No, no, no. Do they not even do they have do they not even have a spicy sauce? Nothing spicy at Cane's? I don't want it.
lasers! Do you think it's possible to do a summons only run? I mean, sure. I don't know why you'd want to do that, though. Three million echoes, Jesus Christ, and barely anything to buy with them, too. Oh, it's almost lunchtime. It's almost lunchtime. Jeez. Getting hungry, man. Any plan on doing another chat summons run? That last one was fantastic. Oh, absolutely. We'll do another one of those. Did you finish Nier Automata? I got an ending in Nier Automata, yes. I finished it. Did the stream just start? Yes, it started two hours and 23 minutes ago. If you just got the Route A ending, you didn't finish it? No. Tickets for me in a couple free orders. I got... I saw credits. Game over. Heat Wave with the 300 bits. Thanks so much, Heat Wave. Did you like it? It was very short. I, d I liked I liked the combat, I liked the game world, but I did not like the dialogue. It was H. I got the H ending. There you go. Finished it. Wasn't a it wasn't the ending A. I got ending H. I did finish it. You know how I know I finished it? Because it said, you you won. Good day, sir. And it showed me credits. Cre credits are the sign of finishing a game. They don't put credits in the middle of the game. They put them at the end. What if the game starts with intro credits? Games only start with intro credits because they're they're Hollywood wannabes. Like like Hideo Kojima. He just he he wants he doesn't want to make video games. He just wants he wants to make movies or TV shows. So they they he does everything that the video the the uh, he does everything that the movie industry does to try to get funding for one of his stupid ass TV shows. Have you played Hollow Knight? Very similar to Bloodborne. Time him out for 10 minutes. Very similar to Bloodborne. You fracking out of your mind.
Hollow Knight is a first-person shooter. The funny thing about that statement is, I'm more accurate than you are. It's too late to ask what he was smoking. I want some. Have you played God of War? Yes. 2D platformers are never Souls-like. Yeah, what is with the, like... This exists in everything. Whether it's books, music, movies. Th there's, there's, there's hardline genres. And then there's, the, there's always the people that just... They don't understand genres. So they think... They think things that are outside of the genre are like things that are inside the genre because of, like, low-level reasons. What is that? Like, I'm a huge Coheed and Cambria fan, right? But they were put on, like... Or one of their songs was put on a list for, like, metal. Like, one of the best metal songs ever. And, dude, it's, like, not even... Like, they could have chosen other songs that are actually closer to metal than the one that they chose. But they chose, like, one of the poppiest songs that they have. Like, I love Coheed, but they are not fracking metal. At all. It's, it's stuff like that. Can you do a Coheed and Cambria impression? Good eye. No, hold on. Good eye, sniper. Here I'll shoot. And you run the words they scribbled on the walls. The loss of friends they didn't have. I'll call you when the time is right. Are you in or are you out? For them all to know the end of us all. I don't think she heard me. We're fine. <laughs> Chat yell. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm kidding. Dude, that was creepy. Thank you. What a lovely voice. I thought you were Claudio Sanchez for a second. Hey, Angry Gamer. Do they get snow days for virtual school? No. Need a perm and your hair could be Claudio's? That is all I need. That was pathetic. Those pooches are mad. Please, Zeus, with a perm fan art. That's a lot of rectal insertions. All right, all right, I get it. I get I get I get it.
Can we get a tennis cosplay headband and booty shorts? You guys are so damn thirsty. Kojima was the first to add cutscenes in video games? What are you talking about? Bro, Super Mario Brothers had cutscenes. The Legend of Zelda had cutscenes. The princess is in another castle. You think that wasn't a cutscene? You weren't playing during that. Ninja, yeah, Ninja Gaiden had them. Get, get out of here with your, your Kojima fanboy nonsense, all right? This is not an excessive profanity channel. We don't, we don't like boring stealth games here. We just play Bloodborne for 6,000 hours instead. What cereal should you buy at the store? Cheerios. That's a lot of pokes to the booty. That's a lot of them. Stagger locked much? <laughs> Got her. What? Yeah. What? Ah. Oh. Why is Witch of Why is the Witch of Hemwick the hardest boss fight on this run? What is this? Oh, she's dead. Okay. Let's go to the other one. Dude, this one keeps ch turning around. Ugh. I hate you. I actually hate you. Just let me stick it up your ass! She won't let me do it, man. This is ridiculous. She won't let me stick it or up her ass. Sounds like your wife. Yeah. 
She disappeared just before I finished. Abyss Toaster with the six month resubscription. Thanks so much, Abyss. Bong lube sometime? Br oh, bring lube sometime. Next time. Okay. I was like, what the hell is bong lube? <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> Title for your next sex tape. Bong lube. Tickets. Where are all my tickets? Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your ride on the magic school bus today. Hey, Hera's here, Cake, with the 22 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Yeah, I, I changed it to mature for uh, for Cyberpunk. Josh with the ticket. Crafty Ogre with the brand new KO Ken times five gifted subscription. Hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Mirian with the five tickets. Maximus Emperor. Kachamp Gaming. Komodo Darkside Shag King Cleric. Are strange brain flake plays thanks for all the tickets and haunted ketchup paying for 49 other tickets and one for himself you legend you legend all you freeloaders make sure you thank haunted ketchup for paying the way for your free bus ride Jesus Christ thank you so much haunted ketchup Heat wave with the ticket. Thank you. Kittenochi with the brand new gifted subscription. You guys are awesome. And thanks again, Haunted Ketchup. You rode for free, you goddamn freeloader. What 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 you what you spend too much money on on death metals and let it die? Brainscope echoes with the brand new Twitch Prime. Thanks so much. Does your sub not include tickets? No, sub bro. You sub for ad-free viewing and emotes. You don't, you're not paying for the, the school bus. That's extra. That's like going to the museum and thinking that the, the, the planetarium show is an extra money.
He butchered my name. I'm so honored. That's what I do here. Maybe don't judge my my bad life choices. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. You know it. Check your donos. I see nothing. Angry gamer with the $10 sacrifice. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you so much. I I I have a, I have a habit of missing the sacrifices because they're in a different spot. Thanks so much, dude. Water Sullivan, thanks for the ticket. Ander with the ticket. Thank you. Did that re guy respond on Twitter yet? No, he didn't respond. Thanks again, Angry Gamer. Legarious time? What makes you say that? The Jason with the ticket. Rue do do with the ticket. Thank you. Harper with the ticket. Can I ask about the merch store? You want a mouse pad? What kind of mouse pad? You want the logo or the booty? What are we talking about here? Oh, that was for your first class ticket? Oh, I could start selling first class tickets. I didn't even think about that. The logo? Yeah, I'll, I'll have them put up... I'll have them put up a, uh... A, a mouse pad. Don't hit me. I said don't hit me. I said don't do that. Got him, right in the booty. Where you think you're going, Legarius? You're going nowhere! I don't even need to look at the screen. I don't even need to look at the screen. Tell your students I said, shove it up the anus! Oh my gosh, please! <laughs> Water Sullivan, thanks for the hundred bits, dude. <laughs> A response? Hmm. Oh, there they are. We got amygdala. Right? Right. Hera mugs. Are they a thing yet? No.
I'm trying. They just, it just, Love the stream. And it's it's really hard because of COVID, because of all the uh, the, the shutdowns and stuff. But yeah, she she's 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 nervous. She has no reason to be. Yo, spaghetti, how's it going? Do you know the lore of the game really well? I am the undisputed lore master of Bloodborne. Hey, white bait. Did someone clip that? What, the, the, the no-look double parry? I saw Harper clipped it. What about Vadi? Uh, Vadi plagiarized, without giving credit, a lot of people from the Bloodborne community. So no. Not Vadi. <laughs> Just search it on Google. There's there's a bunch of a bunch of threads about it. And he, he later apologized. He later he later did apologize. So I give him credit for doing that. No messenger. I already have the messenger's gift on this character, so we don't need to go there. Gotta go shovel? That's the- okay, so that's the one great thing about living in an apartment, man. They were out shoveling at like 2 in the morning. Oh, it was great. <laughs> I was looking at my window. Yeah, you shovel that snow. Yeah, this is what I pay for. Yeah. You got to shovel again. You shoveled last night. Then we got another six inches. See that, that I, dude, I never did that, man. When I was young, like we had a snow blower, right? And my dad was like, go out and shovel. Go out, go out and snow blow. It's still snowing. Why would, why would I, it's still snowing. I'm going to do it and then I'm going to have to do it again. Yeah, but it'll be easier both times. Yeah, but it'll take longer total. Just do it once. You want to shovel it before it starts packing? I never had any issue. Shoveling's fantastic winter exercise. Yeah, it is. It's one. It's one thing that I actually kind of miss. Yo, D Wolf, thanks for the hundred bits, man. Start sh shoveling as soon as it starts snowing. If you miss it, you got a driveway left. How much you paying? Oh, she smacked me. Oh, oh, she smacked me twice. Three times. Oh, she tried it again. Oh, look at that face goo. Spraying it everywhere.
I can do that too. Oh, you know what's coming, crotch shots. Crotch shot. I would yell crotch shot a lot louder right now, but my girlfriend's teaching high school, so. Oh, staggered her in the crotch. Killed her in the crotch! Killed her in the crotch! I'll stagger you in the crotch? Hey, we're upgrading this friendship, huh? Are there any other things? Are they are there any other things that I missed? Besides the DLC? Oh, Parl. I missed Parl. But your streams help calm me down with stress of college love, yeah man. Also, here's my bus ticket. Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. And that's what my streams for, man. It's just some good entertainment, some good discussions. Keep your mind off of other things. Help make uh, life not so boring, right? Zeus, stop cheating! Yeah, I already ki I killed Cleric Beast first. Unpopular fact, most bosses in Bloodborne are females. A lot of them are. A lot of them absolutely are. Uh, Blood Starved Beast is Susie's skin flaps. We know that. Amelia. Uh, at least two of the shadows of Yarnum are females. Rom is a female. Uh, One Reborn is comprised of hundreds of females. And males. Mikalash is a male. Um... Wet nurse, female. We've got... At least half of the Celestial Emissaries are female. We've got Ebrietus, a female. Amygdala, a female. Actually, no, Amygdala's a lord. No, never mind. Amygdala's a man. Or mushroom man. Do you know the mushroom man? Um... Who else? Who else? We've got Maria. We've got... Moon Presence. The Witch of Hemwick. Yarnum Thumerian Queen. Some of the living failures are certainly females. So there's, there's a lot. Maybe even more than half. Rom is male. That is factually incorrect. Wait, the shadows have female members? Explain. 
Uh, they're really not. I was just, I was just kidding about that. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> shadows of Yarnum Queen, who's female, so her shadows would be female, right? The thing is that there's actually, if you look at the, if you look at the the paintings in Kanehurst, you see a lot of the same jewelry and arm guards that the Kanehurst nobles were wearing in the paintings on the Shadows of Yarna. That, that's the thing about that. Yeah, we're maxing in here. We are maxing. You love deep lore dives? That's very interesting. Yeah, man. I didn't come up with that. Someone I saw I saw a post on Reddit about that a while ago. But it seems to check out for the most part. <laughs> Body did it. <laughs> their children too. With all the blood and moon symbolism, my new theory is that bosses are period cramp incarnate. Well, there's a lot to be said about, you know, the blood ministers in this game, the blood, uh, not the blood ministers, but the, the people who offer up their blood in this game are all female. Right, uh, the, the entire the, the female cycle and the moon are related. You know that that's 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 a fact of life. So th there is there is a menstrual element to the blood in this game, absolutely. Who's the person talking there? That's one thing that I would like to know. That's one thing I would like to know. It seems like it's a random person. I don't know who that is. You mean the blood you inject yourself with? Not that bl not the tr not the normal blood vials, but blood of Adela, blood of Adeline. Blood of Ariana. Mensis, yeah, it does isn't Mensis like Latin for menstrual or something like that? Yeah. So it's 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 clear it's clear it's clearly uh related. Bloodborne just became weird, <laughs> dude. Bloodborne is uh just just think about wet nurse. Wet nur a wet nurse is is someone who breastfeeds a child that is not their own. That's what a wet nurse is. That's what a wet nurse is. Bloodborne's so cool. Oh, yeah. It's, as far as I can tell, it's the most in-depth, connected story and lore of any game ever made. Oh. 
A wet nurse is not your Pornhub search his history? Let's be real, man. Is anybody even using Pornhub anymore? I mean, th they just nuked themselves. All of, all of my videos are gone. Except for, like, the vanilla ones. And who watches those vanilla ones anymore? Come on. So it's not just you? No. Your videos? My favorited videos. They were in hot water. I yeah, but see, like, why don't you why don't you just actually moderate your content and get rid of the stuff that you need to get rid of instead of just getting rid of ninety eight percent of it? <laughs> oh oh oh, that's right. Because one requires more work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would cost money. We would have to hire people, and they would have to do their jobs. No. Imagine doing a job. <laughs> yeah, the credit card companies got angry at them and banned them from from using the service. Which, you know, the, some of the stuff going on on the website was, you know, illegal and, and it, the credit card companies were totally within their right to do that but what I'm saying is that they should have actually moderated their content instead of issuing stupid blanket restrictions to everybody you know, kind of like, it's, 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 it's to a different degree, but kind of like how Twitch is. You know, instead of actually moderating their content and getting rid of the people who allow, you know, like, racist stuff and, and transphobic, genderphobic, and, and homophobic stuff. You know, they, 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 they disallow you from saying the word simp and virgin and incel. It's like they don't get it. It's a huge industry problem. Oh, it absolutely is a huge industry problem. And it's just... Listen. Old school business... Has people in charge of accounts. So, when I used to do business in the cabinet and countertop manufacturing industry... Every company that I did business with, I had a sales rep. Right? They And they had... Hundred, a few hundred customers that they dealt with. And anytime you had a problem or anytime they were acting up, the sales rep was the intermediary between the company and, and the other company. The internet, they, they didn't like that model. They, di they don't use that model. So instead, they just, they just legally, they say, ah, we don't control this. We're a platform, but we can't possibly moderate all of these people, even though we generate income from all of them. So they don't do that. That there's there's no intermediary that checks up on and makes sure that the people making them money are doing what they're supposed to, or they have access to make more money and and have and 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 do things a better way. They don't do that. Like it would cost money and it would take effort, but I feel like every 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 like verified person on Twitch should have a partner rep, but they don't. You get what I'm saying? Makes sense to you? Yeah, exactly. And obviously they couldn't do that for everybody with the affiliate program, but they could do that for the, a large portion of the, the user base that makes them money. And yes, would it cost money? Yes, but you'd also be providing people with jobs. You don't know how logistically feasible? It is feasible, dude. It works in every other industry. 
It works in every other industry. The, the, the idea, though, is that convincing the board of directors to do it because that would take hundreds of or maybe even a thousand new people moderating your content and dealing with your partners, dealing with the people that make you money. And that would be less money for the board of directors. It's it, in every industry except for the inter, internet, it's prevalent and pervasive. That's, that's how business works. It just doesn't work that way on the internet. King Pecco with the seven month resubscription. Thank you so much. They should just let every channel moderate their own chat and add better tools for mods. Well, that's no, that doesn't work though, man. Because then you then you have then you have people who run channels that are just that are actual ra racist and 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 all every every group of marginalized people. That that's what happens when you just allow the wild west to to be pervasive, and that, that's that's what I mean. So. It's, it's a twofold thing that you get with having a rep that is invested in your success. One thing, they promote and give you tools and resources. They watch your stuff. They'll see what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong compared to other people and give you new ideas, right? And also, they'll make sure you're not doing bad things as well. And if you run things a certain way that aren't with a, the TOS... They give you warnings. They let you know. So all the people that just, you know, they do, they, they're doing things for a while, right, negatively, but they, they've had no warnings. They just get banned immediately because, you know, somebody, somebody finally uh, decides that, you know, they're, they're going to report them or whatever, and then Twitch comes down on them, and then they're just gone forever. Instead, instead of curtailing and, and making it so that those those partners understand that what they're doing is not acceptable it just comes out of nowhere because you have a lot of people that are doing things for years and then suddenly it's just like no you can't do that anymore and you have no intermediary to tell you to w what's going on growing up in my town you know how prevalent bigotry is oh yeah dude and it's not just our town it's it's it's, it's everywhere that's one that's one positive thing about our generation is that we don't we f for the most part we don't put up with that there's it still exists but compared to previous generations ours is a lot better in dealing with that now there's things there are things that our generation is terrible at too <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Zeus. Nice job. Let's try that again. Right to the face. Those facials are really nice. I want to get the head stagger, man. Right on cue. Yeah, the crane, the cane is really good against all beasts. It does extra damage because of the serrated damage bonus. My 
guiding moonlight. Easy game, easy life. Is this easy mode? <laughs> Little birdie told me with a brand new gifted subscription. Thank you so much. Now that's art, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is, dude. That's what it is. Need my chunks. What's my favorite boss theme? Ludwig's and Living Failures are my favorites. I also like the Thumerian theme as well. Yeah, man, Twitch. I feel like I feel like they uh, when you tab out or you, you're on you're in another tab or something. I feel like they cut back on on bandwidth by making it so it doesn't like play as much or something. I don't know. It's really annoying though. 
It's really annoying. It's just the browser. It doesn't happen on YouTube, though, man. You always tab back into 160p? Yeah, exactly. Where's John Cena? Nowhere, you can't see him. Oh, there he is! Oh god, I'm dead. Do it. I told you to do it. No, not spawning. Come on, I was spawn camping. Excuse me. That's a lot of damage, man. Need a new pellet. Need some more paper. Yeah! Zoomed in just in time. Bro, those two big balls of plasma almost killed me. Oh, what are you doing here? I just, I just parried them both at the same time! Yo! That was sick! You said earlier you don't really take speedrunning seriously anymore, but would you still do GDQ again? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I keep applying. I don't apply every time. But I'd love to get back to GDQ, man. There's, there's... Between you and me, there's nothing I love more than doing something for a crowd i i love the crowd atmosphere dude i love it zeus thrives in crowds i really do i really do between between sports and wrestling at a very young age i was enamored with with this with 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 the spotlight the, the the stage mindset the bomb with the brand new twitch prime thanks so much bomb welcome in if you do something with a crowd i'll be there screaming what's your earliest wrestling memory 
earliest wrestling memory. I don't know, man. My my memory is pretty trash, honestly. I really don't know. That's why you like the rock theme? Oh yeah, dude. I was I watched with, with dude, when I was a kid, when I watched the Raw and SmackDown every night with my mom, dude. Or not every night. AEW is pretty good. Dude, I did like AEW. I liked what they were doing. I really did. But no crowd, dude. It kills it for me. It real it kills it. It really does. You have friends working for AEW? Really? You work for Chikara? I don't know what that is. What's Chikara, man? It's been your introduction to wrestling. It's really fun. Yeah, dude, I, I, I love everything about wrestling. It's where Cesaro, Drew Gulak, countless others got their start. Nice, man. I didn't know about that. See, I, I loved wrestling, but I was never, like, I never really watched any of the other stuff. Yeah, I know I know Kyle is KTV. I, I know about that. Is he still doing it? You love KTB? We we went to Spaghetti and I went to high school with him. Yeah, The Rock was my favorite wrestler. The drama, the story, the matches, the rigging, it's all awesome. Yeah, I love it, man. Come on your channel and watch wrestling with me sometime. I will. That sounds fun, dude. We'll watch, we'll watch some AEW or something. You go, can we do that? What, what, what kind of... Ch what, wait, what kind of wrestling can we watch? We might not be able to do that. Can we? Oh, we can? I'm down. Wrestling's pure theater. Wrestling is the only thing close to vaudeville these days. And that's why I like it. Haha, <laughs> I'm whipping Maria. Booty whip. I dodged that the wrong way. I tried going left, but I actually went right. Odd hitbox? No, that, that was fine. I, I, uh, I, I, I didn't dodge it correctly. That damage, though? Someone on YouTube said God of War was harder than Bloodborne. And the re their, their reasoning was on give me God of War difficulty, everything is a one or a two shot. Okay, so play Bloodborne on New Game Plus 6. Everything's a one or a two shot. Like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> like, imagine comparing difficulty and... And you and comparing Give Me God of War difficulty to regular New Game? Like, what would it... Like, come on.
Oh, I lost my echoes? Oh! I just didn't press the button. I didn't get it. Damn it. <laughs> I, tr I tried doing a blind parry. I tried. Give me credit. It's so hard to get that parry. Yeah, the fire got me. Went for the swag. Play A. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, man. I like having fun. I like having fun. No big deal if it uh, gets us killed sometimes. <sighs> You're still really good at this game? I am the blood god. I am the best at this game. The best. Nobody better. <laughs> Death for entertainment purposes, you know it. Even your deaths are impressive. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that was a terrible hitbox. <laughs> Let me just get these. Oh, she shot me. She's weak to R1, R1, R1. Oh no, I'm weak to this. Nobody know nobody knows this move set. Except for me. You awaken from your slumber? Did you fall asleep to my stream? Excuse me, lady. Are you calling me boring? Looking at chat. <laughs> I was looking at chat, dude. Uh. You couldn't leave your bed. It's so dark and gloomy outside. It's actually pretty bright out here. Okay, we're killing her this time. We're killing her this time. I, 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 I was playing in the beginning. The mood all changed. I've been chewed up and spit out and booed off stage, but I kept rhyming and stepped right in the next cypher. Best believe somebody's paying the Pied Piper. 
all the pain inside amplified by the fact that I can't get by with my 9 to 5 and I can't provide the right type of life for my families cause man these goddamn food stamps don't buy diapers and it's no movie there's no Mackay Pfeiffer this is my life and these times are so hard it's getting even harder try to feed and water my C plus C disorder caught up between being a father and a prima donna baby mama drama screaming on her too much for me to want to stay in one spot another day of monotony has gotten me to the point I'm like a failure now Okay. <laughs> ah! Wait, get my echoes. No! How'd she do that? Oh! Why are you so mean? Why are you so mean? Next run, all raps, all bosses. Each boss has a new rap. I kind of like that idea. Spencer Pothier with the eight month resubscription. Thanks so much, Spencer. And the bra the bomb with the brand new Twitch Prime. Dirty Window with the 15 month Twitch Prime. Thank you guys so much. Whip it. Whip it good. Oh. I forget how much distance she has on her blood. too early what This is such an amazing fight. Boom. The blood god prevails. Simmer, thanks for the 500 bits. Jaguar man with the 100 bits as well. Thank you guys. This boss is so great, they recycled it twice in Dark Souls 3. <laughs> a tarot with the 2,500 bits. That's a lot of money to give a beta present over the internet. What the hell are you doing? Bro, thank you so much. Daddy Comcoin with the four month resubscription. Thank you. She is a Neo. But that was out of respect. Tanny Murrah stole it. <laughs> Thanks again, Atero. 
great job, Spaghetti, with the subscription. The brand new KO Ken times five gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thank you so much, Spaghetti. Subs are flowing today. You guys have been very, very generous over the last, I don't know, four or five years? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Wouldn't be able to do this without you. Thanks again, Spaghetti. What is this solar plexus you talk about? Get out of here. This is my first full Twitch stream, and I'm actually so happy that I found your content. That's awesome, dude. Look at this. This is this guy. Th this guy's new to Twitch, and he's being nice. What 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 is going on? I I thought people who were new to Twitch were just were just idiots. Before before I don't know if you were here before Brian, but so, someone who is brand new to Twitch uh, blasted me in my Twitter DMs for be, for being an idiot. So that's what that was referencing. You look beautiful today as usual. <laughs> Did that guy reply on Twitter? No. No reply. Unfortunately. You were here before you started the stream. You were laughing, laughing your ass off. Oh, that was a terrible roll. Still got it, though. Still got it. Got the instant pickup, too. I'm a legend. Thanks for doing the cane run. Thanks for watching, man. Davivo with the two-month resubscription. Thank you so much. What is it that makes this game so much better than From Software games? Uh, the cosmic horror aspect of it leads to an aesthetic that is just not prevalent in a lot of video games, so it's it's so fresh, and they nailed it so accurately. All the uh, the enemies totally fit within the areas, and the bosses fit fit within the monstrous scheme of the game as well. The weapons are not just skins; they're actually new individual weapons. And when you think about the game, and the bosses, and the limb break system with the bosses, combined with the transformation effect, tr combined with the, uh, the, the, the rally mechanic, and the beast blood pellet effect, and how it all just synergizes together in a way that other games just don't have. The lore of the game is fantastic, the quests are awesome, the dialogue is unparalleled, the music is just amazing and fits with the themes of the games as well. It's... It's just the best, dude. It doesn't do anything badly. It, it does not do anything badly. Prophecy Alpha with the five-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, dude.
Just wanted to let you know, I'm about to release a Bloodborne Coliseum Boss Rush mod. Seems like it might be your kind of thing. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Grimrock. Grimrock is the... Correct me if I'm wrong. You're the, uh... The, the Daughters of Ash creator, right? If my memory doesn't serve me incorrectly. I, I actually, I kind of want to do another Daughters of Ash playthrough. I love Daughters of Ash, dude. Oh, I, I screwed that up. I don't normally screw that up. I, dude, I am terrible right now. Look at all those booty slaps, though. There we go. Much better. Ooh, he almost got me there. That was a sick series of combos. Yo, dies. Thanks for that gifted sub, you legend. Oh, I forgot that has an AoE in front of it. How do I forget that? I love how he does, like, 75% damage with one hit. <laughs> what a legend. Okay. Nice try with the backhand. If you have trouble with Lawrence, the biggest tip that I can give you is learning how to dodge that triple swipe attack as perfectly as possible. The one, the two, the three. That right there. If you look, because he gives that to you a lot. If you learn how to do uh, dodge that and dodge it well, you'll have a lot easier time with him. Uh-oh. A little too early on that. I think I'm hungry. I'm, I'm messing up some dodges here. Yep, yeah, I'm hungry. I'll just suck at the game.
you shouldn't be alive. The only thing that saved me there was because it wasn't. It, they weren't full counter hits. It was. It was the the way the counter hit system works in this game is if you okay if you're standing still and you take a hit, that's that's a normal hit. If you're in the process of rolling or attacking while you take a hit, it's about like one and a half percent. But if you if you take a hit right after you're done rolling or right after you're done attacking, like when the animation is pretty much done, it's over two times the damage. So what saved me there was was only taking like the 1.5 counter hit damage and not the full two. Hope the snow didn't pile on too much where you are. Nah, it's not that bad, man. It, it was nice to see some snow, though. If you can dodge a ball, you can dodge taxes. <laughs> Your mom is in the Poconos, and they got quite a bit. The Pocono? I've never been to the Poconos. What's it like? Once the plague is gone, I am going to start taking some vacations, guys. Because I've, I've never been on a vacation in my adult life, and I just... I, 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 th I think I need a vacation. I think I actually need one. I've I've been grinding um be between um between grinding Twitch and all my like neck stuff and my surgery and all that. I just I just need a I I need a vacation. I, I need I need like a couple weeks where I just relax. Although I don't know if I'm capable of relaxing. I really don't know if I'm. Ca <laughs> Like the entire time, I'm just I'm just gonna think, I should be streaming. <laughs> Come to Oregon, honestly, dude, I would love to go to Oregon because two of my friends are in Oregon, and both of them are happen to have the name Spaghetti. <laughs> you got you guys have the same uh, first name. Two, two of my good friends are in Oregon. Grab Hera, go someplace private? Yeah. Oh, dude, Oregon... This is how I describe Oregon. It's like the nice parts of New Jersey, but the trees are three times as tall. Oregon has Marion berries too. It, they do. And <laughs> meth. Let's be real. Everywhere has meth now. Thank you, Walt. I was going to say Walt Whitman. What is his name? Walter White. <laughs> It also doesn't smell any like the parkway. That's why I said the nice parts of New Jersey. <laughs> Are you playing on the PS5? I am. What's the meaning of any percent? Any percent means as fast as possible. There's, there's no other requirement except beating the game as fast as possible. Like, I typically speedrun all bosses, which is beating the game as fast as possible while doing all of the main bosses in the DLC. Any percent doesn't have any requirement except for being as fast as possible. Better Call Saul? Oh yeah, that's, re that's really cool, man. It's a good show. I recommend it. 
It's a nice spin-off series. I haven't seen all of it yet, but the the few seasons that I have seen were really good. I gotta start it up again. I, I duped the blue elixir by accident. I wanted to use the old hunter's bone, but I duped the blue elixir. <laughs> I am the master, orphan, baiter. The Master, Orphan, Bader. Dude, I can I can masterly bait this guy all day. So close to dying. Ooh, I'm terrible. What? That's so weird. He likes throwing his gumballs. Wait, where's my cape? Wait. Bro. He took my cape. Bro. He stole my cape. Zeus, you gotta dodge attacks. That's gonna hurt.
One, yeah, you cannot get hit by that attack, man. He, unfortunately, he did it right in front of a wall, and th that's that. That might be that's might be one of the only unfair attacks in the game. Because if he if he does that near a wall or at the wrong camera angle, as far as I know, you can't get out of that. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the cape. How how do I reproduce that? I tried to I tried to just scooch under his arm there. It didn't work, obviously. That's gonna hurt. Bro, he, he keeps using the lightning to stop me from backstabbing him. The uh, transform attack there was not a smart move. Took way too long to, to get off. I know better. Is it possible to iframe the lightning waves? Yeah. Kamehameha with the eight month resubscription. Thanks so much. Never fight Kaz on his mom's body like this. He's got special powers. I'm going to do it because I'm a G. Ooh, nice job. You were close. What was that?
There's your uh, lightning iframe right there. My reaction time is slow. Oh, I'm hungry. I forgot I needed food. Oopsies. I staggered him out of the sky, bro. Yo, he really likes throwing his gumballs today, huh? <laughs> uh, that was my fault. I started the attack too early. Terrible fight. But like I said, we hungry. Thanks for streaming, Zeus. You've helped me through some tough times, buddy. And a lot of other people, too. Thanks for watching, man. Only happy that you can get something out of my stream. <laughs> Liam with the subscription, the brand new KO Ken times ten gifted subscription, hitting me with a major sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. Thank you so much, Liam. Thank you so much, dude. You are a legend derriere. Good hunter. You Shut up. <laughs> Hey, that didn't parry. I don't know the parry timing for Ludwig's Holy Blade. There it is.
Ooh, I almost had that. Oh, the bone ran out just in time. I could use my gun too, you old doofus. Okay, gun for gun. I could do it. Do it. Do it. Ooh, he almost killed me there. Oh, just too late. Fooling around here. Almost got me. I'm dead. Wow, he blew me. He actually blew me. No beast blood pellets. That's why it took forever. Burial Blade's a really fun weapon. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, too. Did I get the shirt in the mail? Uh, I, I'll go to my P.O. box soon. I haven't checked it yet. I gotta go to my P.O. box. I'll do that within the next day or so. Nice try, Moon Presence. Nice try. Ooh. 
Whack. Just let me use some bolt paper, sweetie. That's the run. That was a good fight. Yeah, I, I didn't feel like using beast blood pellets. Could have could have done it like a minute faster, I'm sure. That's what you get. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Wait a minute. You stop going into new game if you new game plus if you use a hundred's mark. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Think about the lore, man. Garman is dead. Moon Presence is dead. Who's the only one left alive in the dream? The doll. The doll is evil. <laughs> <laughs> 